Welcome back. In this video, we're going to walk through the configuration of the model repository services, the data integration services, and connecting to them utilizing the Informatica developer tool. To do this, we will have to have the Informatica developer tool client installed, which is included in the 10.1 client and the server up and running. First off, we're going to go ahead and create a new database for our model repository service. So we're going to log into our SQL Server instance using the SQL CMD dash capital S declaring our server, which is localhost dash capital U, our user, which is SA dash capital P, and our password, which is data source 2017 with a capital D. Now, once we're logged in, now we can go ahead and just create our database. So we'll execute the SQL command of create database go infa go m r s v 101 semicolon followed by go next we'll go ahead and validate the database has been created by executing the select name from sys databases semicolon and go all right we'll see that our database has been created from here, we can migrate over to the Informatica Administrator Console, which I already have up and running. We're going to navigate over to this Service and Nodes tab. Have the domain selected. Click Actions, New. We're going to go into Model Repository Service. Now, from here, we'll enter in our Model Repository Service name of Infa MRS V101. Just add in a quick description of Informatica Model Repository Service version 10.1. Location will be domain DSC. License will be selecting our partnership license, selecting node 01, and we will not be declaring a backup. Here we'll select our database type, which is a SQL Server. Provide our username, which will be the SA account followed by data source 2017 with a capital D for the password. And this utilizes JDBC, so we're going to enter in the host name, which will be Ubuntu, and the, followed by the port, which is a 1433. Next, we'll update the DB name with our database name, which is Infa MRS V101. We'll leave the snapshot serial equal to true. No contents exist. We'll go ahead and test our connection. It was successful, so we're able to move on. Go ahead and click next. We will not enable version control because we currently do not have an SVN set up on this machine. Now, at a later point in time, we can go ahead and establish version control. However, we will need to provide an SVN server that Informatic can leverage to provide the subversioning for the model repository services. All right, so the configuration has completed, and our model repository service is up and available. Next, we'll go ahead and create our data integration service. Run actions new data integration service. So here we'll add in the name of, I, of Infa DIS V101. Add in a quick description here. Of Informatica data integration service version 10.1. Location is domain DSC. We'll select our partnership license and our node will not identify any backups. We will select our model repository and we will log in with the Informatica administrative login. So administrator followed by data source 2017 with a capital D. Go ahead and click next. We'll leave all these values as default. However, we will highlight the enable services checkbox. Leave everything as default. Now 
we will enable deployment history and we will allow for caching. Hit next. We will leave all boxes checked, enabling us to provide the configuration during this setup. Leave all these values as default. Click next. You know, we're just going to go ahead and uh, highlight and check all of these boxes uh, to just to step through the configuration, just to give you an idea of what will be required if you are trying to configure these on the first go round. So we'll select the web service, the mapping service, profiling service, SQL services, and workflow orchestration orchestration tool. These all as default. Now for the profiling warehouse database. Now this is a connection you have to set up in the Informatic Administrator. We have not done so. So go ahead and click cancel and we're just going to go ahead and click next. We'll just skip this step because we do not provide an actual database for it to utilize. Go ahead and continue on through and then also for the workflow orchestration service. Again we don't have a connection set up so we'll have to do that. Go ahead and click finish. Now it will attempt to start the data integration service once the setup is complete and then afterwards we're going to address those two items one is the profiling warehouse and the other is the workflow orchestration services we'll utilize two new databases to provide those services Right, data integration services available. How well we will identify that those two items are called out. So first, we will need to create two new databases on our virtual machine. So again, we're still logged in to our SQL Server instance. So we'll go ahead and execute the create database command. And we'll create the Infa Profiling Warehouse. So we'll go with PW V101. Semicolon and go. Next, we'll create the database for the workflow orchestration service. So create database Infa. Let's go with WKFL V101 semicolon go now I'll go ahead and uh, execute the select names from sys database SQL statement just to verify that those two databases have indeed been created so we do see that they are there so let's switch back over to our administrative console and configure the connections to those two databases so under the connections tab We'll have our domain selected, highlight, click New, Connection. We'll scroll down and we will select SQL Server. OK. For the connection name, go with Infa PW for the Profiling Warehouse V101. Provide a quick description of the connection. So the connection to the Informatica Profiling Warehouse V101. Provide the SQL login, so we'll utilize SA and Data Source 2017 with a capital D. We'll leave both boxes unchecked. Now we cannot click Test Connection because we have to actually provide the connection information in the Next tab. So we'll click Next. From here, we're going to provide the updated JDBC connection information. So first we're going to update 
the host name to be Ubuntu and provide the database name which is Infa PWV101. Now the provider type we've selected is ODBC and I have selected the use DSN box and then we're going to type in our DSN that we've created when we were setting up the Power Center repository. So go with Infa MS SQL PC repo. Test connection. Next. Finish. Next, we're going to set up the connection for our workflow orchestration services. So we'll go with uh, the name of Infa WKFL V101. I toss in a quick description. So Informatica workflow orchestration services. Username is SA, login is data source 2017 with a capital D. Go ahead and click next. Hostname Ubuntu. Database name of Infa WKFL V101. ODBC connection utilizing DSN and then type in our info underscore MS SQL underscore PC repo. Test connection. Successful. Hit next. No environment SQL required. Hit finish. So I've created both the connections that will they will need to leverage to enable both of those services for the data integration service. So we'll switch over to the services and nodes, have our data integration service selected, and we're going to scroll down as I've already done. Well, and we're going to first we're going to apply the connection for the profiling warehouse. So under the profiling warehouse database properties, click the edit button and select the connect the profiling warehouse connection. Okay. Save the services changes and it will recycle the service. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and select the connection information for the workflow orchestration services. Okay. Save changes. Okay, now we've created the connection, so now we need to actually create the content. So now we're going to go up into the Actions tab in the top right-hand corner to create the contents for the, first off, the Profiling Warehouse. So we'll highlight this and click Create. Go ahead and create the contents. And now we'll do it for the Workflow Orchestration. Now it may take a few minutes for the action to successfully complete. And once it has, we should no longer see the error at the top saying the workflow database contents do not exist. All right, so now the contents have been created. So now we are able to actually connect to our model repository utilizing the Informatica developer. So let's go ahead and navigate to the installation directory of the Informatica developer. So this will be the C drive Informatica 10.1 clients developer client and we'll double click the 
developer.exe executable. All right, from here, now we're, since everything's up and running, let's go ahead and uh, create the connection to our repository. So go ahead and file, connect to repository, configure domains, we'll add a domain, this will be domain DSC, hostname is Ubuntu, port is 605, go ahead and test the connection. Hit finish. OK. Now hit browse. And we'll be able to select our model repository from the drop down. Now let's select it. We'll go ahead and click next. Provide the username. So this is the administrator login with data source 2017 with a capital D. Click next. There are no open projects, we will not be selecting anything. Click Finish. All right, so now we are connected to our model repository. So just to test it out, we can go ahead and uh, click New and just uh, create a new project. And we'll just uh, call this a data source and hit Next. Our administrator login is the only one user that we have created, so we'll click OK. And there we have it. We have successfully connected to the model repository services for Informatica 10.1 utilizing the Informatica developer client. So just a quick recap. We did configure the integration service, the model repository service, established the two connections that we required, one for the profiling warehouse, the other for the workflow orchestration services, and then successfully established a connection via the Informatic Developer Client. I'd like to thank you for your time in listening to these walkthroughs. If you have any questions or like clarification on any of these subjects, please feel free to reach out to me directly at jcampbell at Data Source Consulting. Thank you very much for your time.